is. I'm done, like, trying to <laughs> talk about anything important. Because, like, Twitch is just gonna keep dying on us, then what's the matter, man? Like, Jesus. Oh. I mean, hopefully it just got it all out of its system early. And we'll be good at this point, you know? Two disconnects from one night seems like more than enough to me. But <laughs> I guess that's to be determined. Oh. Twitch, man. Love it and hate it both at the same time honestly no live announcement uh making me do things it's fine everybody that's here is here <laughs> like, uh nate sleeps at night now rue is doing rue things uh chocobo's probably at work my brother's probably at work I'm not even in the right channel. <laughs> That's about to send out a <laughs> notification for nothing. Um, here it is, going live. Uh, we live dudes playing some more Olive Town, some more cozy Olive Towns. There we go. <laughs> I be Nate. Well, I be Nate was ready to watch Friday, but no. <laughs> That's because he doesn't work the next day or didn't work the next day or whatever. But yeah, he still like tends to stay up late on nights where he doesn't work, but nights where he works the next day. He works early. I don't remember exactly what time he goes to work or anything like that, but I know it's relatively early. So I don't blame him to be perfectly clear here. Like I don't blame the dude one bit. You know, he needs his sleep, and that's that's totally fair. Hmm? <laughs> What's up, Cindy? I thought I heard someone singing. Singing? What? Who's there? It's the forest girl! So, probably not, like, the harvest goddess or whatever. Just going off of, like, this better look that we're getting out of her. She looks more like a little girl that was lost in the woods and then grew up with wolves or something. She's giving more of that, like, kind of vibe than potential harvest goddess sort of thing. Stop trying to scare me like that. And then look at us, dude, with our stoned-ass tired eyes. <laughs> like, Jesus. Were you the one singing just now? Bruh, do I look like I sing? <laughs> Pretty sure our dude's too stoned to even think about singing. <laughs> like, look at him, dude. He's exhausted. Did the girl disappear again? No, okay, there she is. It's like, don't tell me she's just gonna freaking disappear after showing up for nothing i think i've been sleeping for a really really long time is she like no i was gonna say she's not like from before the town was formed and stuff right like not that long how would that be i don't know whatever what am i supposed to do now that i'm awake whatever the hell you want i guess dude you're awake be free do stuff and then just instantly transitions to freaking victor man what happened to the girl where'd she go did we like give her a home did we help her into town maybe set her up at is there even a place to stay here we're always trying to get tourists and shit but i don't think we have any hotels or anything like that now that i think about it that's probably something we should work on victor i'm just saying while you're here Maybe put a hotel up in this place for people to stay at when they come in. I'd like to refurbish our benches. Nah, okay. Screw giving people places to sleep. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Those were words. Uh, we got benches. I guess, I mean, technically a nice bench is somewhere to sleep, you know? Once we polish them up a bit, though, our benches will be ideal areas for some good old rest and relaxation. Ah, oh, okay. See, he's on the same page that I am. <laughs> Just... Oh, hi, George. Jorg. Good morning, stream. There was something I wanted to check in with you about. Are you aware that we're holding a pet derby in three days? Uh, Possibly? Originally, we planned on giving a broader announcement, but we were worried it wouldn't get the message across. That's why I'm going around town and bringing the news directly to everyone. Three days from today, hope to see you there. So, I guess we should try and get closer with Marie... Where is Marie? There she is. Oh, it's already 8 o'clock. Did we go to bed super late last time we played? Probably. That's my guess. So none of this can be harvested yet? No, okay. I wish there was a way to just be like... Hey, I never want to pick up these paths, so just leave them where they sit. You know what I mean? 
Oh, damn. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff that we need to take to the museum, I guess. Uh, we can put some stuff in here, though. Do we have money to make more tools? Because we have 11 silver ingots. Oh, no, we were making... We were making dudes. That's what we were doing. Hold on. Do we have iron? We do. Okay, cool. Yeah, we were making sprinklers. Okay. I vaguely remember things. We're gonna do our normal, though. Start with clearing the farm. And then... Shouldn't need the hoe for anything. I'm trying to remember how to play. It's been... Oh, okay. Well, we don't have things. Hmm, I guess we don't... Oh, wait, can we refill at the... The ocean? No. I mean, I guess dumping a bunch of, like, salt water on our crops probably wouldn't be a good idea anyways. But I don't know why. That was just, like... For some reason, it popped into my head. Like, oh, yeah, of course. We can just refill at the ocean. No. You can completely ram past the well. And for nothing. I'm trying to remember things, man. I'm struggling hard. Okay, so this, I know, I think our flowers that grow next month. And if we're going to focus on getting sprinklers, then there really is no reason to upgrade our watering can anymore. We should probably upgrade... I mean, hammer's like top tier upgrade for me because I want to get more mining like the better the better our hammer the better we can mine and also we should be able to get an upgrade to our oh uh, whatchamacallit to our energy levels to our whatever you want to call that if we if we upgrade it more because there's the thingy that we can do the mini game that we found down in like the magma pools i don't know how many we need is it Three and three? For crafting. Ooh. Cancel. The sprinkler? No. Five and three. Okay. A little disproportionate, but that's fine. You can go ahead and make one. Craft. Many thank game. Do we have any seeds? I know we were keeping some in one of these chests. Just mushroom seeds. Looks like we planted everything else. Okay. So if it's open today, we should go and buy some seeds, too. Pop that bitch right down in there. Are you grown yet? No. All right. Let's get to clearing mode, then. We still need to decide what we're going to keep and not keep and all that. Uh, I wish the chess system was better in this game. Because, like, I want to be able to make all the recipes and things, you know? I want to, like... I want to do all the stuff, but the fridge has barely any space. <laughs> mm, I guess. Mm, okay. You know what? It's going to be fine. First thing we're going to do, we're going to ship like 35 of these tea leaves. Get a couple bucks for that. Then we're going to collect this stuff again because it's here and I don't know, it bugs me seeing it sitting there. And then animals. We should definitely take care of our animals before we do anything else and forget. But I think we're going to go up to the museum so we can just clear up our inventory a little bit. I think that should be the next thing that we do. Yeah, we're going to have to put away all the tools we just took out. Because we just don't have space for it. Oh, but we need the watering can. I'm an idiot. Okay, hold on. We'll get that back out. It's fine. It's weird, like, it keeps popping up and saying eat. I realize it's because we have yogurt highlighted. But I keep thinking it's telling us, like, hey, why don't you eat this fodder that you just picked, bro? You know what tastes delicious? Fodder. Eat that grass. <laughs> and it's really bugging me. Uh, I don't remember how much it costs, but another thing we could do is max out our backpack. That honestly doesn't sound like a terrible idea to me either. 
Ooh, you guys need some food. There you go. I got you, dudes. I thought... I thought their food was maxed out. Maybe yesterday was a rainy day? How about you then, Mr. Cow? Um, you're like halfway there. We'll give you some more too. Why not? Why not, dude? We want them to be well fed. Huh? Why did Betsy just get a thing above their head? That was weird. Whatever. Now, where were we putting water? Was it this one? Yeah. <laughs> food. We can go up here to the food bin. Can we make anything with the yogurt that we have that we haven't been able to make before? Nothing new we can make there. Or there. What else do we need? We need a radish? Do we not have radishes? Really? I could have swore we had grown some radishes at some point. But maybe not. Either that or I just randomly decided to sell them all because I'm an idiot. That's a real possibility too. Okay, we can make a yogurt drink and we can make coffee. It's just a coffee bean? Sure. Make some coffee. I wonder if like coffee and tea and stuff would have a special effect of any kind. Like, you know, like energizing us more or something because it's coffee or tea. It's got caffeine and stuff. Yogurt drink coffee, orange juice, no, okay. Oh, and then this stuff that doesn't have quality, we were going to be keeping that as much as possible. And a bunch of eggs, that mayonnaise will stack. Having some milk seems like a good idea. And then tea. Okay. Let's go, let's go go to the museum and gift and do all that stuff. I guess we also need to stop at the town hall and do that still too. Thanks for getting the lumber stream. Now we can build the most protected barrier ever. It'll be so strong those fish people will never know what hit them. Should we get an hydro to help? Yeah, we gotta get all the adults in on this. Jacopo, Jacopo sick. Looks like he's got a cold. Fish people are coming. They're gonna attack. Marco saw one. There was a fish person in the water. About that, that was probably me. So, I might have been sent flying into the ocean earlier. By the time I crawled up onto dry land, I was covered in seaweed. It was pretty gross. But while I was doing my time as Jacopo seaweed monstrosity, I kind of remember Marcus catching a glance at me. He went white as a sheep. So, fish people aren't real after all. So, hot milk. Okay. We can make hot milk. I'm Right? I'm pretty sure we have some milk in the, the fridge of the house. Maybe he sent himself flying into the ocean, kids. He doesn't actually seem like the smartest person in the world, Jacobo. I'm not saying he's an idiot. I'm just saying he's a little bit dumb, that's all. Oh, we also need to buy seeds. Don't forget to buy seeds. Hot milk. Uh, with the one milk that we have. Cook it up. And then, I guess, get it over there before it turns into cold milk? Does hot milk just turn back into cold milk? Like normal milk or because of the heating process is it like denature the proteins or something and then it doesn't work the same anymore? Hello child. Hello child's mom. I would like some of your finest seed please. Do you sell radish seeds? You do. Spring, summer, and autumn. Awesome because apparently I need radishes for a recipe. So we'll grow that. Do you want a cup of milk? Uh, probably. Let's be honest. Oh, that's right. Treats for our pets. I forgot that's a thing too. That we can and probably should do. I feel like it's been a while since you've had a cup of milk? Oh, if you say so. <laughs> I feel like it probably hasn't been all that long, but you know, whatever you say. 
I'm assuming she likes pink cat flowers, man. She's never really told us if she does or not, but... She's never told us she doesn't like them either, so... Is this the bistro? It is. Hello, Nigel. Hello, other girl that is a potential candidate for us, even though you seem to hate us. Uh, you know what? We could actually use some food. Have a meal. I will have... Is there anything we haven't had from you before? Mm, let's have your most expensive soup. Because I like soup. Never had a fish soup before. I think we might have tried this last time. I seem to remember talking about fish soup. What's Bo looking like now? Uh, <laughs> Bo looks like they've seen some stuff, but you know what? It's been worse. <laughs> As if it, I don't see why like soup isn't considered an entree, man. Whenever I eat a bowl of soup, I get full AF. Voracious appetite? Why is my appetite voracious? You also get hot? That's true. I do. I get very hot whenever... Nobody's talking to you, dude. I, I get very hot whenever I eat soup for some reason. Chocobo's request. Hot milk for 300 gold. Many thanks, dude. I will take my 300 milk. Lemon marigolds? I don't even know where to get that from. 10 supple lumber, so we can't get supple lumber yet. 10 silver ingots, we could get that, but honestly, 20 bricks seems like the way to go. So we're not really using bricks for anything else anyways. Ooh, what is this? Cookies, just straight up cookies? Oh yeah, dude. These ones grow in autumn, yeah. So the last set of flower seeds that we got... Because, like, the first ones we got grew in spring. The second ones we got still haven't grown, so I'm assuming they grow in autumn. Or summer, rather. And these ones grow in autumn, so... Yeah. So I think we screwed up planting those other flower seeds so early, but whatever. We just lost one set of fields, and it's not like we were really doing much with them anyways, so it's fine. Ooh. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Come on, Beth, focus. I know I had something I needed to do today, but I've totally forgotten what it was. Was it laundry? No, I did the laundry. Did I forget to eat, maybe? Bruh, been there. Ate a little while ago. It was delicious. Is it the head of whatever that statue is back there? <laughs> Wait, did you have a date? Did you just forget about a date? A date with Lars, and you just completely stood him up? Dude! That's just rude. What did Lars do to you? Hopefully he understands. Let me guess. You got real absorbed in your work again and forgot we had a date? I need some time to get ready. You uh, wouldn't mind waiting a bit longer. Okay. Seems like he's taking it well. She didn't change anything. <laughs> what, is... <laughs> what did she do? She's like, I need time to get ready. Comes back with the exact same hair and outfit on. Like. Why is it showing me? <laughs> Why is it showing me that event, you know? Because I think she's a potential bachelorette. No, okay. She's not, apparently. But Lars, I'm pretty sure is. It's just like... I don't know. You would think they wouldn't like... Do you like coffee? No, I want to drink the coffee. Here, you can have some cookies. There you go, Rena. Anyways, um, you would think like any of the, the potential bachelor, bachelorettes or whatever, you wouldn't want to show them like dating too much. Because then like, I don't know. It just seems weird. What do we get? Oh, we got a town medal. Okay. I'm sure the game told us. I just didn't see it. Cloth. Okay. Cool. Glad I dug up some cloth in the mine. Or no, I beat it out of a uh, 
I beat it out of a mold, didn't I? I think that's where I actually got it from. Gibeon stone, is that new? That might be new. Although, saying that, I kind of feel like we might have gotten one before. It sounds familiar, actually. Well, either way, there's another one. And then, lastly, a silver ingot. Fancy. Donate treasure. Nope, apparently we've already donated it. Okay. So that's everything. We can just go take care of our farm now? I don't think there was anything else I needed to do today. I mean, we talked about upgrading the axe and stuff. If they're open, we could do that real quick, I suppose. Oh, I didn't mean to eat the cookies. I was trying to give them to the, to the little girl. I'm sure she likes cookies. Uh -huh. What kind of kid doesn't like cookies? Excited to be getting more and more sprinklers, dude. That just means we'll have more time and more energy to do stuff every day. Radishes. Dunzo. And then, okay, put stuff away, clear the farm. I think I should put seed seeds like in here. I guess cloth would go here along with the silver ingot. Mm. The food should probably go down with the food. Oh, that's right. We needed, what was it, like 20 bricks, too. Do we have any bricks? We have nine. I'm assuming for bricks we just need clay. Can we make 11? No, we could max out at 10. Oh, wait, and it takes four hours for each one? Okay, that's going to take a bit. Do we only have the one brick maker? Sadly, it looks like we do. Eh, okay. We'll put those back away then. <laughs> Don't need that after all. Mm. Can re up the silver and iron and the logs. Basically, just want these machines going 24 7. At least at the rate that we've been getting stuff. And you guys can go back in there. We're working on the bricks. Is there anything else that needs ground up? Can we grind the wheat into flour? We can make more rock salt. I mean, I, or more salt, I guess. Yeah, here we go. We can make some wheat flour. Have we done wheat flour? I don't actually know if we have. I guess I should take one pet treat, too, to give to Marie. And then sell. Slash get rid of the rest of this stuff. Sell the Gibeon stones. Have we sold salt before? Well, we have now. The hammer. And the bucket. That should be everything we need. Let's go, dude. Give me all that clay. Apparently, we're going to need it. Take the moon drop, too. You get a good gift for somebody. I don't know who, because <laughs> I have no idea who likes what, but I'm sure somebody would like a nice gift of... Moondrop flower. So we can drain like little ponds of stuff. It'd be cool if we could drain the entire river. Just drain the entire ocean. Why not? Grown tree, get chopped. Have we upgraded the fishing pole to silver yet? That's one thing I would like to get upgraded soon. So I'm still working under the assumption. We have no actual proof of this outside of the game telling us it's how it works. 
But it seems like the higher we level our fishing rod, the better chance we'd have of catching good things, right? It really hasn't felt that way so far, but... Just trust the game, believe in the process. Short will get there eventually. Bride. Oh, I'm exhausted today. I can already feel myself like falling asleep here. It's terrible, dude. I don't want to sleep right now. I want to. I want to play game. Ooh. Marie, stop running! I have a treat for you, and if I don't give it to you now, I'll forget again. Me too, Noodle. Me too. We can sell some of this stuff, specifically the fulgurite. Rest of it. Grab the thing, dummy. Put you guys away. Grass, okay. And the clay. All the new clay that we got. You can come down here. Okay. Next area! I was thinking we need to work on the barn, but then I remember, no, we actually finished the barn already. That's how we got Betsy. Wouldn't be able to be re reading, raising Betsy if we hadn't finished the, the farm already. Some salt. Wonder if it's worth collecting like the salt every day or if we should only really be doing it on days where like there's a few of them built up. Oh god, I'm sorry guys. I'm dying. Don't mind me. I've been drinking this tea hoping that like the tiny bit of caffeine in it would help re revive me a little bit, but it's not <laughs> not really doing much sadly. Like the recipe for the jewel maker. By processing raw gems, you can sell them for a much higher price. So that's probably what we do with like the raw bassite or basalt or whatever the hell it's called. The raw dude that we've collected a couple of barrel? Raw barrel ore, maybe? Whatever it is. I'm assuming it just like cuts the gems down into some desirable size and shape. It's a silver bearing rock. It's fine where it's at, honestly. It can stay there for now. Oh god, boys. Are you fully grown? I'm gonna say yes. I mean, it doesn't help that we're playing like a cozy game, you know? Where kind of the whole point of cozy games is to be cozy. So I'm sure that's not helping how tired I am right now, but my god, dude, why am I so freaking tired? <laughs> Just wake up! I got a decent amount of sleep last night. Not a ton or anything, but... Like, I don't know. Six and a half hours or something, probably, roughly. You said a pretty reasonable amount, honestly. I wonder if we'll have enough stamina left over to drain one of the little ponds. Not gonna be able to do this large one. This large one, they suggest that we don't even try. We just build a pump for, and then empty it out that way. But I struggle to do things the way games tell me to. I'm very tempted to just spend like all of our energy that we have left after our daily chores. I just kind of want to spend it on trying to empty that big dude pond. Just so we can see what's in it before we gotta wait for pumps or whatever. Oh god. Thank you for the five bits, noodle. I can't see what they are because I'm falling asleep. Ugh. But thank you for the five bits. I appreciate you. Stop yawning. If I had a choice, I would. I'm not trying to. I'm just freaking exhausted, dude. Ooh, we missed some, some sugar cane. Now, there was another small pond around here somewhere, right? I'm pretty sure it wasn't just the big one. Wakey, wakey. I wish it was that easy, dude. To just wake up on a whim.
yeah, I think we more or less got everything at least. Or actually, which, uh, it's a lot later than I thought it was, so I guess it's for the best. Should probably just head back home and go to bed before we get, like, a late night penalty or whatever. Okay, definitely need to collect the stuff, though. Make us some more sugar, I guess? Oh, my inventory's, like, full. That's why it's not letting me stuff up. Ooh, almost forgot these two dudes. Up near the top. That's not the box, that's a machine. I don't even know what machine it was, it was just a machine. What do we need to make that gem cutting machine? It's probably gonna be expensive. Ten silver, five iron, dying and then whatever that thing is is that a diamond what is that thing it's not something we have whatever it is mm. anything to sell arthurite honestly i think we've donated arthurite before but i'm not positive Can't keep anything else in this chest. What was I wanting to put in there? Oh. Oh, no, never mind. I don't really need to put anything in that chest anyways. Is this chest I need to put the peppercorns in here? And then the butter burr we can try to put in the house, maybe? Can we make anything with the one flower that we got? It's an awfully big... Wait. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm losing it a little bit, that's all. Um, okay, salt. Flour? We did not have flour before, apparently. Sage and butterbur. Is that anything new for us? I thought maybe the flour would unlock some new recipes for us. But I guess we have to have all the other stuff to go with it, too. Lily, hello. Uh, hydrate? You got it, dude. Lele attack I need to. Hydrate. I'm literally falling asleep. Is bad. What do you need for a baked apple? Is that honey? Yes, honey butter? And an apple? I wonder when we'll be able to get honey. I mean, I assume we can get, like beehives at some point and that's where the honey would come from right but i don't know how to get beehives flour egg milk honey wait is that just raw wheat roasted soybean flour oh wait what <laughs> is that what that symbol is can we make just, like, toast? So we just need milk and we'd be able to make some stuff. Did we put the flour in there? We did. Oh, even the flour has quality. God damn it, dude. Everything has quality. Really makes it hard to just put stuff in a freaking chest, you know? Or fridge or whatever. Like, later in the game, we'll probably be able to say something along the lines of, like, you know, only keep max quality stuff or whatever. But right now, our quality of things is constantly increasing because, you know, is new. We're getting better at things. And as we get better at things, things get better. <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. Ooh, more cherries. Uh, we'll probably end up selling some of those, but let's clear up all of the, the stuff that we had machines working on. So what does the raw flour look like? Okay, or raw flour. Wheat? I think most people would call that wheat. Wait. Did we have two empty fields yesterday? Bruh. <laughs> How did I do that? 
Son of a bitch. Okay, well. I guess we need to make two more. So we need ten and six. I think. Now what else do we need? We're still working on bricks. We haven't gotten all of them yet. Um, put away this stuff. We have so much food, it's ridiculous. Craft two of these dudes. Wait, two of those dudes. Thank you, game. Because we can pick the onions. We're still gonna harvest, or harvest. We're still gonna water this today, of course. Are these ready to pick? Nope. But then after today, hopefully our sprinklers will take care of it for us. Sprinkler? I should have probably watered it first, just because it's going to be a little annoying walking around it after we water the other two spots. I mean, I guess it wasn't that bad, actually, but it was a tiny bit annoying. Okay, so I need two more sets of seeds. Hopefully the shop's open today. I don't remember what days it opens, closes, all of that stuff. How are these ingots and things done already? Didn't we collect them once already today? They must have been like close to the end of a cycle. Whenever we collected it a minute ago. What are you? Condiment maker. I don't think we have anything we can put in there, right? No. Gotta wait for like soy sauce and beans and stuff. What did I make the second sprinkler for? I guess maybe I thought one of these other things were done. Whatever, I mean, hey, it's fine to have an extra sprinkler. That doesn't hurt anything. I'd rather have an extra sprinkler than not enough sprinkler. Now, onions are kind of expensive. I'm tempted to keep the onions. But with how expensive they are, we should probably just sell them. There is always the grocery store, too, that we can make use of. Hopefully, the grocery store stocks, like, all of the, the seasonal ingredients and things. Okay, did one of our chickens die? Bruh, where's our other chicken at? Why did it not come out? There it is. God, you're slow today, Beelzebuck. <laughs> And then we should still be able to just, like, talk to you today, too, right? There we go. Get all the love with the cow, dude. He's a good dude. He deserves the loving. Uh, egg. And I think we used the only thing that we had yesterday for something. The only milk that we had for the hot milk or whatever. We'll keep that too. Um, let's go put some stuff away. Hello, Marie. I think we pet you already, but you can have extra pets. Any new recipes yet? We got fruit. We got flour. We got some things we wouldn't normally have. No. Oh wait, yeah, pancakes! Let's go, oh that's right, we needed milk for pancakes. Duh, oh I am bread. Mm, bread's just flour, so that's fine, yeah. Make some bread, bro! Sooner or later we're gonna make everything. <laughs> Might have to make like a spreadsheet, but we'll wait until you're like two or three before we start breaking out the spreadsheets, you know? If we decide to go like all the way. Oh, the bread opens up a handful of things, too. Egg sandwich or vegetable sandwich? An entree of vegetables and berries stuffed into a sandwich. That sounds interesting. <laughs> I don't know if I want... Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. Use the stuff in our backpack first. I don't know if I want fruit and vegetables on a sandwich together. Like, just fruit on bread sounds fine. Just vegetables on a, on a sandwich sound fine. But the two together, not so much. That's a little iffy to me. What was it? Was entrees? We need to, like, start eating some of the food we have instead of going out to eat at the bistro and stuff. Bistro. Or, like, start giving food away as gifts. I guess that's a thing we could do, too. Wait, does it have to be onion? Because, like... Onions are expensive vegetables, dude. Use the use a cucumber. Cucumber, wild berry, and bread sandwich. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's any worse than cucumber freak or I'm sorry, onion wild berry and bread sandwich. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's put the cherries in there. Put the onions in there. We're just gonna take the money. Is any of this food worth, like... I mean, pancakes are worth a good amount, but our milk's probably worth more. A clam chowder's worth 409? What all did we put in there to make that worth so much? You know what, screw it, sell the oregano because I don't feel like going back into the house to get rid of it. Oh no, these are... Ingredients, not foods. Okay, well, we have to go back in the house anyways. I could sell those, but... I don't know, they stack neatly, so I want to keep them. <laughs> Anything that stacks neatly, I'm all for keeping, man. Now, I was going to clear the farm. Do that early today get some inventory space going, and then maybe we'll do some fishing or something tonight. And apparently pick a bunch of stuff. Definitely collect all the bricks too, because we're trying to get up to 20. As quickly as we can. Oh, the mushrooms! I forgot to check on the mushrooms. They look grown. Yeah, dude. Alright, we'll need to plant some more of those too then. The mushrooms I would really like to keep. Wait, is our bag really full? Hmm, okay. Guess so. Inventory management. Are we... We're a little bit hungry. Drink the, the coffee. Don't place it on ground. What's wrong with you? Drink it. Yeah, it only gave us like a hard and a half. I don't think it's actually any better than anything else. Just trying to remember what I came over here for. I remember now is the shiitake spores. Or shimeji? Shimeji. shimeji. Guess it doesn't matter which one. We have more shimeji, so... Take one of you. Resporify the mushroom log. And then I guess just keep eating stuff. Anytime our energy even like gets a little bit low to get more inventory space. We can put away the watering can. That'll give us a little more space. And then we also need to try to remember to buy some freaking seeds today. That feels important want to get to growing stuff we could let the fields clear a little bit in preparation for the next season i guess that would be valid as well but like just let the just not grow anything for a few days but nothing seems like it takes that long to grow you know more than like a week or so and there's a lot of crops that are like go in between the two seasons 
So I feel like we should just go ahead and grow whatever the hell we can grow right now, and then we'll have the space to do the thingy later. Or maybe we were saving up to go up here. 20 silver ingots, 50... Uh, I don't know. We're going to keep making our dudes, our sprinklers. But that might have been why I had so many like silver ingots and things. Oh, is our inventory full again? Son of a bitch. Okay, uh, tea. Eat the tea. Okay, the tea gave us like half a heart. That didn't give us anything, dude. That sucked. Can we like tilt the camera down some? We can. My bag is full. Again. Mm. Yogurt drink. Here we go. Eat that. <laughs> Still not full. Almost full, though. Oh, shoot. There's still more stuff. Mm, it's never ending. The inventory management. Shoot! I thought we had logs, but it's just the basic logs. Darn it. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Is there anything else we need to bucket? Doesn't look like it. Put the bucket away. I don't think there's anything else we need to hammer. Besides the rock salt. You dummy. <laughs> Damn it. It's fine. Everything's fine. We'll come back for the rock salt. Let's get these darn trees taken care of. Mm, that's slightly annoying. I can't get two at a time. I guess it's a good thing we left extra inventory slot open because we're full again. Freaking sap. What's sap even used for? Have we used it for any recipes yet? We must have. Because otherwise we'd probably be just like overflowing with it. Alright, get the hammer out. Get our rock salt. Fill up the machines as much as we can, if we can. Um, flexible thread? Have we made flexible thread before? No, we've only made thread. All right, make however much flexible thread you can. Craft some logs. We not have any regular logs? Oh no, are we doing the same kind on both sides? If so, that was dumb of me. Put all that crap away. We'll donate these flowers today. Or not donate, but you know what I mean. Gift. Anything that we want to sell? Yes. The clams. They're not worth much, but sell them. And the oysters, because why not? And then... I wonder how much it costs to upgrade our fishing pole. I know it costs, like, silver. It might cost lumber, too, though. I don't know. Doesn't look like there's anything new we can make today. We can put some stuff in here though. Mushrooms, oregano, that. Sure. Museum and two bags of seed? Two bag of seed. Museum, two bag of seed. And gifts. We have four gifts to give. To whoever. Definitely giving one to Bridget, of course, and giving one to Blair? Dream, I'd like your opinion on something if you don't mind. Why is Beth like. So. I don't know. 
Or is this another part of the children's mystery? Okay, this is another part of the children's mystery. It's like, why does she seem to like us? We hardly even talk to her, dude. Supernatural stuff happening at your place? I'm not scared at all. Nope, definitely not. What do you think's going on? Cindy behind you? Uh, no, just no idea. It looks fine. How many parts are there to this mystery? I thought it would be done by now. Wait, what? <laughs> just Cindy wants to do an exorcism? How does she even know what exorcisms are? They're wearing perfume? Hmm. Wait. Some exercise. They want us. Okay. Mm I guess we have to figure out how to make perfume then. Is for the children, after all. Oh, hello. More cutscene. Hola, Patricia. Is it just us today? Welcome, Manuela. Manuela? Sally hasn't arrived, so we're waiting on her. Sorry, I'm late. Mickey, Mikey would not stop his whining. First, he wanted some snacks, then he threw a fit when he lost his favorite eraser. <laughs> Brad throw a fit, too, if I lost my favorite eraser. Can't lose that thing. Complaining that your child's too good? Where's the age, you know? She's not going to want to deal with mischievous mischievous little boy like Mikey. Ugh. Oh, cake. Cake sounds good. Give me cake. Maybe there are some things in my past I'd prefer not to remember if I can help it. Ooh. Does she have, like, a mysterious past? Is it a dark past? She like a CIA agent on the run. Wait, they really just invite me to hang out with them today? Well, cool. Thanks, girls. I really want like a big old slice of chocolate cake now. Whoa. Why is one of your eyes closed? <laughs> is that a glitch? Are you meant to be winking at me? Okay, I think she was meant to be winking at me. I mean, I don't know. It might have been a glitch, I guess. But, like, her eyes went from, you know, one shut to both and then back to normal. So, I, I don't know, man. Whatever. Here, you can have the pink cat flower because it's a lot fancier than the moon drop, I feel like. Still have no idea if you like it. You're really hard to read. You know that? Ooh. Here, you can have a moon drop. Why not? Ooh. You're welcome, dude. And since I saw this guy walking around up here. Go ahead and talk to you, too. There you go. Can we get, like... Okay, so I know we can have cows, obviously. But can we get any other... Oh, uh, you just sell pets. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you sell pets. You sell farm animals, though, right? Yeah, livestock. Nah, just cows and chickens. I don't know. I kind of want to save, like, space in the, the barn barn, because I feel like there's going to be other options available ooh, eventually. Like, whether it's just different colors of cows or different animals entirely, something. Also, I know we can take pictures of wild animals. Did we ever try taking pictures of the farm animals for the museum? Oh, well, hello. Thank you, Brylin Bucket, Bucket. Seven. seven. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm not sure if we've tried that yet or not. That might be something we have to give a go. Hello, Angela. You can have a moon drop flower, too, because, I don't know, you seem cool. Um, I also need to buy some stuff from you, but hello you. I forget your name. Pet Derby's right around the corner. Can't wait to get this party started. I wonder if it's going to be like an actual race or something, the event, or if it's just going to be... Uh, oh, hey, flashing warning, by the way. <laughs> My capture card does not like this game, sadly. It flashes sometimes. Anyways. <laughs> Sown in spring. Only spring. Spring and summer. And the onions are worth a good bit. Gun, spring, summer, and winter. Let's do another round of onions. And then we need something else too. Beans seem like they'd be pretty useful just in general. Although so does rice, and we haven't excuse me, we haven't grown that much rice. It takes 14 days though. 
Oof. Because I really want to make sure that we get all of, like, the new stuff. Strawberries only take eight days, but we don't have enough time. Uh, mm, potatoes take six. What day are we on? The 26th. Okay, yeah. Let's just do, let's just do potatoes. They're quick. They're simple. They're easy. We'll do a round of onions, a round of potatoes. And that should get us more than set. We'll talk to you. Hello. Oh. Love it. Somewhat concerned about the pet derby? Why? You're not going to tell us. Okay, well, <laughs> we tried. Here you go, Blair. She still doesn't have a single, like, heart for us. Hasn't even started to fill in yet. Does she just straight up hate us? She's, like, our second favorite person. Okay, she's, like, at a heart. It just hasn't peaked yet and gone over the edge yet. But it should be, should be soon, hopefully. Any easy stuff at the community center thing? The board at the town hall? Another cutscene? Another cutscene. We popular today. There you are, stream. I've been looking for you. I need you to return the three books you've taken out. Wait, what? What? You don't know anything about that? No, I haven't taken any books out. Signature isn't... Mm, mm, not even going to try that. It's so scribbly I can hardly make it out, but doesn't it kind of look like it says stream? Somebody signing books out in our name? Like, what's with all the fuss? There's some sort of problem? Hey, Tommy Mayor, maybe you can help us out here. Somebody borrowed a few books, but they're way past their due date. And get this, they're precious town assets purchased by the museum. My, my, town assets, you say? We can't have those disappearing on us now. Was it him? Was it Victor? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Called it. I figured as much. I feel like everything that goes wrong in this town is his fault. <laughs> oh. Ancient ruins or spiritual spots? I'd be happy to give you a tour of the local ruins sometime to make up for today, so feel free to drop by for a visit. Time to get back into work mode. See ya. I mean, actually, if we're being real, I would... Oh, they're closed. Um, I would love to maybe visit some ancient haunted grounds or spiritual spots. Or you're just a tourist. I don't care about you. Can we give gifts to tourists? I don't think there'd be any point in it, but no. Okay. Hello, Jesse. And your name, who I forget. Simon, you look like you would like some Arthurite. <laughs> well, thanks, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, Arthur. <laughs> Glad you like it, my guy. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure we've donated it to the museum before, so I don't think there was any reason to keep it. Requesting a ruby. We definitely don't have a ruby. And yeah, you do want floral perfume specifically. I guess we might be able to get Floral Museum from the flower shop, maybe? Like, we might not have to f make that one ourselves. I'm not sure, but maybe? It's a little late to check today. But if we remember, it's something we could do tomorrow. And potatoes. Awesome. I really need a mod that just like automatically fills these things for us. Okay, we need iron. Oh, we have plenty of space in the crafter for iron. We're actually running out of iron ore though. I mean, it crafts much faster than, than silver, so I guess it makes sense that it would go first. And then seasoning maker. So that would be pepper. And are you working on salt? Yes. I'll take two more salt for you. Two pepper for you. 
Oh, shoot. We dropped some wheat at some point. And some bricks! We definitely can't lose the bricks. I think if you go to bed with stuff on the ground, it disappears in this game. We'll re-up the brick maker as well. Make sure it doesn't stop doing its thing until we get our bricks. Alright, uh, we'll go throw the stuff in the fridge. And I guess just go fishing for a bit? Maybe in the river. Maybe we'll do river fishing today. Not sure it makes any difference at all. I imagine it has to in some way. Whether it's, like, more profitable or... Something. <laughs> Catch different fish. And there's got to be some reason to, like, fish in certain areas and not in others or whatever, right? Kappa Cow, what's up, man? Welcome. Ooh, that was a quick one. Quicker than I expected. A dace. We've definitely had you before. That's the problem with the fishing, right? It just, like... We never get anything new. <laughs> There's either just not that many fish in the game, or we need to be fishing in spots that we just don't have access to, or a better fishing rod. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe we're always fishing at, like, the same time of day. I don't think I've ever come, like, first thing in the morning and fished. Maybe that would give us something new? Tilapia. Now, tilapia, I think, is actually new. Of course, as I'm complaining about, like, never getting anything new, we would probably get something new, right? Sadly, though, we do have to keep it for the museum the first time. But, news new. That's still exciting. I wonder how much it's worth. I, I might check that if I remember. Just because I'm curious. Fishing just doesn't generally seem like a very productive use of time. Because it doesn't seem to get you that much money. That's pretty much it. <laughs> the food that we've made from fish in the past isn't that great. Of course, most of the dishes we've made in general haven't been that great. I have to imagine as our level goes up, it'll get better though. More, f Not necessarily more filling, but restore more stamina per thing. Ooh, was that a two? I think that was a two. Will it be a sparkly boy? They're actually worth something. The sparkly boys are nice. They're like 500 gold each. I don't know, this seems even harder than the normal sparkly boy. Nope, it's a sparkly boy. Still, thank you game. If you want to give us more sparkly boys, I'd be down for that. So, pet derby. I think that's... They told us three days yesterday, so probably not tomorrow, but the day after? I guess one problem with making all this food, it's not really a problem. It's like, it's a real first world problem type of thing, right? We don't have enough energy drain to really need the amount of food that we have. Just from trying to make all of the options. We could go into the mine and deal with that, but it's pretty late to do it now at this point. And I feel like we've been spending a lot of time in the mines lately, so I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Spend some time out of the mine for a bit. Is that another tilapia? No, yellow perch. Their shadows look very similar to each other. I really want another tilapia so we can sell one in case they end up selling it in the grocery store or something after. Dace? Dace. This will probably be our last fish for the night. Nope, not yet, sadly. Still working on Dark Cloud. I've been exhausted lately. I'm, I mean, I was literally falling asleep just like 20 minutes ago. Another tilapia. Let's go, dude. Um, <laughs> anyways, so I haven't been playing as much as I as I would like to. And uh, Dark Cloud, while not a super long game, is definitely a longer game. So still being worked on. Haven't given up on it by any means. But sadly, it is not, or I have not beat it yet. Sparkling fish. Hell yeah. Tilapia, 72, 66. 
is okay. I guess we'll just sell the rest. We probably need some of the seafood for some, well, some of the food dishes, but until we get a bigger fridge, I just, I don't think it's worth trying to hit every recipe. I think we are going to upgrade our fishing rod, though. I think that's worth it. Wonder if they're open today. We probably have enough silver rod or silver rods, silver ingots and stuff to do it if they're open today. It... No? Okay. I thought something was gonna happen. Left everything, please. Do we have enough bricks yet? I think we might. Nor not. We only have 15? Oh, I have four in my inventory. Okay. I was like, how we only have 15? I could have swore we had more than that. Or, uh, like, bleh. I could have swore we had that amount before we collected the ones today. Um, we'll also take the silver ingots out and the solid lumber out for today, because pretty sure we're going to need that for the fishing rod. Ooh, our radishes are done. So we also need to stop back at the... Whatchamacallit store. And our tulips are done! Hell yeah! Okay. Is that it? That looks like it. Let's put some stuff away... Mm, nope, never mind. We don't have anything to put away. How's our inventory space looking? Fine. Okay, these things we're gonna keep out for a bit. The radishes and tulips will probably sell. So I guess they can go here ish. Kind of annoying that flower also has a. A freaking the, the quality. Of course, anything with quality doesn't stack unless it's the same exact quality, and that's just a pain in the ass. Hello. I don't know why sometimes they have like the really happy symbols over their heads. I mean, I'm happy that my animals are happy, but. I don't understand, like, what makes them happy or not happy. Like, super happy or not happy, you know? Hydrate! You got it, dude. Lele attack just I need to get some more hydrate. caffeine in my system. The whole 22 milligrams in this bottle of tea. I'm not a caffeine drinker, <laughs> honestly, so... That's, <laughs> this is... This is... Ooh. Oh, oh, nope. Okay, camera doesn't like it. Anyways, this is like all the caffeine I get. Uh, there's like a sip left. There we go. It would feel worse to not finish it, considering how little was left. Uh, put away the fishing rod. Pull out the watering can. You are about to get watered, Nugget. <laughs> yeah, you better run away. Little dude ain't gonna like this. Uh, we'll keep the milk. We've been very low on milk. Oh, I guess we didn't need two mayonnaise makers. We probably got one for free. But since we can, like, stack just about anything being made, you don't really need more than, like, one of any machine unless you want to make stuff more quickly or make like multiple different recipes at a time I guess like how right now we've been using one of our ingot makers for iron one for silver so, I mean there's there are valid uses they're just for more than one there's not that many we need two sets of seeds Clean the farm a little bit first. It's gonna bug me that those are out of order, but I don't feel like moving them. 
think we're gonna need to clean our inventory first before we clean the farm. Uh, this is right here. Just clear it. Okay. House first. Really wish we could put things in our house, man. Uh, we have no room for milk. Milk seems important to keep in the fridge. I don't know, it's just used for like a lot of stuff. We have two different qualities of mayonnaise. We're probably going to be getting higher quality mayonnaise in the future. So let's take out the two lower quality ones. And put the two higher qualities in there. Even though higher quality sells for more. I don't know. Maybe it's better for... Makes like the food better or whatever. Oh, we can make egg salad now. Since we have the radishes. So let's do that. Cook it up. I know I was just saying we have too much food in our inventory, but <laughs> I still want to try and make all the recipes at some point. So if we see one available to us, it would just like feel dumb to not do it. Oh man, we've unlocked more recipes, <laughs> holy crap. Okay. There's so many. I'm happy about that. I just wish that they had more of an effect. Like, other than just filling you up or whatever. It'd be cool if they all had special effects. Kind of like, you know, in Stardew Valley where some things give you extra luck or speed or this or that or whatever. It'd be cool if there was a similar system here, I guess, is what I'm saying. Uh, grass can go there. Fodder there. Food. Go with the food. That's donate. We could give tulips gifts today, too, if we keep a couple of them. Is my last brick done yet? No. That sucks. Okay, we have a couple inventory spaces now. Chop some trees, clear the farm. Miss the <laughs> freaking rock. Isn't there a couple iron bearing rocks up here? Yes. Not to mention an herb. And instantly our inventory is filled. Go drop some stuff off. What are you making? Solid lumber. Okay, so regular lumber over here. We have enough iron or anything? Yes. Throw you in there. Oh, sap. Sell the stuff we were gonna sell. It's you, you, and we'll say five of you. We'll give three away as gifts. Oh wait, is it flowers that go? No, it's not a condiment maker. What is it that flowers go into? Yogurt maker, seed maker, no. Butter, oh, butter maker. I think that's new. Converts milk into butter. Oh, well we actually need that then, <laughs> okay. We can make one of those. But it's not what I was here looking for. Yogurt, dye, where is, essence maker. It's glass, okay. Well, I don't think we know how to make glass yet. Um, I guess what we'll do, we'll clear this away, pick up the egg, put egg in this one, and then craft us a butter maker. Maybe, maybe we will buy another cow today. I was trying to hold out until we unlock a new animal type or something or a different looking cow. But now we need to make butter and yogurt. I think we just need more cows. Put away the regular lumber. Mayonnaise maker. I guess can go in this extra chest over here. Iron ingot. Okay. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. That's our last brick. Let's go. Okay. Into town we go. We'll deal with the rest of this stuff later. Um, hold on. You're going in the house. Shop to buy two sets of seeds. At least one set of seeds. Here to give gifts and buy a cow. Do you like mayonnaise? I mean, you're an animal person. Maybe you'll like mayonnaise? Will you say something different at least? I mean, she just said thank you for the gift. I can't remember what she normally says is the problem. Uh, anyways, okay, give me a cow. Any names for cows? I think our first one's name's Betsy. This one is serious. It's a very serious cow, so obviously you should give it a very silly name. Muriel? You got it, dude. Muriel the cow. Muriel. Done. Confirm. <laughs> There we go. We got Muriel now. Oh. Bah? <laughs> Hello, random sheep? Is this where you've been, Francis? Fran Francis? Oh, goodness. So sorry, I was so focused on Francis that I... Oh, Francis is the name of the sheep. She wandered off, so I went to go look for her. May I smell her? <laughs> May I pet her? Of course, I'm sure she would love that. I think we'll get along well, you and I. Ah! Was I imagining things? Wait, so sorry. Um, It was nothing. I just thought I saw... Saw what looked like a spirit? I used to hear quite a lot when I... Used to see her quite a lot when I was a little, but not so much these days. But I still believe she truly exists. Even though I might not be able to see her anymore, I know she's watching over me. Are you hungry, Francis? Come on. We should head back. Take care, stream. Would we have gotten, like, more relationship points if we would have asked to feed instead of pet? Also, now that we've seen a sheep, can we buy a sheep? No, oh, lame. Okay. Also, does that mean we got, like, another heart with... Bridget? Maybe? Hello. Oh, I guess I can't talk to you for some reason. There we go. Here, you can have a tulip, Jesse. You gave your husband a random rock yesterday. It just feels right to give you a something. Yes, we do need to remember to separate the meat. Hopefully soon. Uh, did we need more stuff? I don't remember, actually. Just buy more onions, anyways. If we have too many seeds, I guess we just don't have to plant them. Spring, 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 spring and summer, spring, spring, summer and autumn, but radishes kind of suck. I mean, we're always going to want more beans and stuff, and again, don't have to plant them if we don't actually want them. Same with like wheat and stuff, right? Wheat, rice, beans, that's stuff we're always going to want. Okay. Then I guess before we give away the last two tulips, we'll stop at the flower shop and see, are we able to make... Let's see what day he's closed. Okay. Can we make a floral perfume? No, I guess we have to get the essence first. Do you sell essence? No. Hmm, okay. You can make bouquets, though. Oh, you need, like, a bunch of different flowers. I think we knew that already, actually. Pretty sure we saw that at some point. Okay, well, whatever. You're no use to me. Why can't I just buy one of those perfumes you got back there? Did we talk to you? No, we'll talk to you. And you little dude, hello. Let's go give one to Bridget, or Blair. Blair, not Bridget. Is this our heart event with Blair, maybe? Welcome, here for a bite to eat. 
Oh, hey, we were just talking about you. Okay, so I've got to know, what kind of job did you have in the city before you came here? Where did you live? I don't mind if you chat, Blair, but at least take his order first. Yeah, yeah, of course. Is the seat alright with you? Whatever's close to you, BB. Sorry. <laughs> I've been to the city a few times myself. There's a movie studio just on the outskirts of the business district, right? Went there on a study tour. There's a talent agency nearby, so sometimes, if I got lucky, I could catch a glimpse of the famous actors. Ha! Ah, the words! Hello, Chocobo! I'm dying. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna take a nap, and you guys can, like, imagine the game being played or something. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. I don't know why I've been so exhausted lately, man. I slept for like... It was split up. Not last night. Last night I actually didn't sleep all that well. But the night before last, I slept for like nine-ish hours, which is way more than I usually sleep. But I still just got home last night exhausted. Okay. We back. It's fun. Maybe we can do them into small baggies and then put those baggies in a big baggie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds fine to me. Uh, well, I sort of am. I won't deny that. But I don't just chase famous people around for thrills, you know. Not there because I'm chasing my dream. It's a personal thing. Whoops, I haven't even taken your order yet. What would you like? Anything caught your fancy? If you haven't decided on anything yet, then why not try our daily special? I came up with today's course selection. Uh, I'll have that then. Thank you very much. I guarantee you'll love it. Oh, and not to keep harping on the subject, but I would really love to know about this stuff from you. You know all about your life in the city beforehand. Oh, yes, ma'am. Don't mind her. Yeah, no wonder you go back and forth with her. She's your boss, and you should just you chatting up a storm over here, dude. Does that mean we finally have a heart with you, though? Oh, yeah. Okay. Here, you can have a flower. And here you go, Masaki. You can have the last flower. <laughs> <laughs> She's got that mommy voice, you know what I mean, dude? Like, <laughs> oof. Uh -huh. Is it you? No, you're the house. It's you, it's Lars. Oh, wait. He must be closed today. Wait. Is Lars not the one that works on the tools? Hey. No, no, it's Clemens. It must be his brother. I would like a silver ho- no, a silver fishing rod, please. Confirm. And then, I mean, we have the money and the stuff for it. We were saving silver to make more, whatchamacallit, more sprinklers. But we have most of the sprinklers that we need. This would make clearing the farm even easier. Holy crap, the golden stuff is expensive, ain't it? 20 grand? Are they all 20 grand? Oh, okay. So silver's probably gonna be like the last big upgrade we do for a while. Is there anything else we need to buy? Seeds in a couple of days. Should we save the money? That'll leave us with like 4,500. Screw it, hopefully we get another <laughs> harvest or two. Or actually, I guess tomorrow's the last day of the season. Hopefully we get another harvest before tomorrow. <laughs> or before tomorrow. Get another one tomorrow. I'm an idiot and I'm very tired. Those two things do not mix well. Bruh, this game is cutscene city. Holy shit, there's almost too many of them to be honest. I gotta get my water. I'm out of tea. Melee attack just redeemed hydrate. Tea, tea, tea. Tea, tea. Okay. <laughs> Going crazy. You know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna stretch, dude. I feel like I feel like I need a stretch. A stretch is a good idea. Wake up a little bit. Holy balls. There we go, yeah. Get that stretch in there. Lele attack just redeemed stretch. <laughs> God. Oh, all my bones are cracking. My foot kinda hurts too. I don't know what's up with that. Is this is that the one I sit on? Yeah, that's the one I sit on. That might be why it's hurting. <laughs> that would make a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> I'm really tired. Ah, there we go. Delicious, delicious water. I just closed my hair into my water bottle. <laughs> Things are going well for me, guys. Tonight's oof is big oof. 
<laughs> breaking things. Everything's great. Everything's going grand. <sighs> Mikey keeps bothering me to play with him. Oh yeah, that kid's pretty clingy. <laughs> Jesus, man. It's kind of rude, Jacopo. Uh, please gotta act like you got plants with me today. Oh my god. <laughs> Children. <laughs> Mikey's just like, yeah, it's fine, I'll go with you. Jacopo's not gonna want to go shopping with these children, huh? Uh, no, we may plan Jacopo, but would you mind going shopping with Mikey instead? <laughs> so now she's just tossing Mikey at Jacopo. Oh my god, dude. Cindy's a bit sly, ain't she? Well, at least the Jacopo didn't actually get stuck with him. When he clearly didn't want to be hanging out with either of the children. So I guess that's nice. Uh, brick. 20 bricks. Deliver. That should be another upgrade on the town now. And then you want a coal lump? I don't remember if I have any coal lumps or not. I'll take these these money coins, though. Is there anything we need to donate? No, so we have no reason to go over to the museum other than if we wanted to say hello to people. But I think we should probably go down into the mine. Use some of our food to clear up inventory space. Uh, pet our new cow, because I assume that that was delivered today. So we should, like, say hello to it for the first time. Um... I don't know. I'm sure there's more stuff. Oh, yeah. Plant these things that we bought. <laughs> there's that. That's something we should do. Let's plant the beans first. They take longer to grow, but we're going to need beans. Okay, there were two open spots anyways. And then the onion. And then... Let's make sure we keep these machines moving along here. Put away all this stuff for a minute. Put away the actual, like, completed stuff. Tilapia. We did need to stop at the museum. I'm an idiot. Okay, well, we're going back up there anyways. We have the coal lump. That's nice. Grab the logs, the lumber. Not the lumber. Lumber's not what we want. The logs, that, the clay. I guess flexible grass, because whatever. Silver solid logs I think that's everything that can be turned into something that matters I think iron ore, drop it in silver ore Just refill all the machines question of the day if you could remake a classic game with modern graphics and mechanics which one would you choose and why I think we might have had a similar question before, but I mean, what do you expect, I guess, right? Um, I still really want a Final Fantasy VII remake that has modern graphics, but not modern gameplay, <laughs> modern mechanics. I just want Final Fantasy VII, like the same game, but prettier. I still really want that to be a thing. Um, but other than that, what some games? I'm trying to think of games on like the PS1 or older that I would really like to replay. <sighs> Legend of Dragoon would be really cool because I never finished that game when I was younger, and that's like obviously just a popular one that a lot of people really like. Final Fantasy VII again, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what they would call it too, man. That's <laughs> that's the best part of it. Um. When did I... I don't remember buying the wheat and rice seedlings. <laughs> My god. Uh, anyways. But yeah, Legend of Dragoon... Mm, words. Legend of Dragoon, I never finished when I was younger. So I think it'd be really cool to have a remake of that one. Um... There's more. 
you thought Dragoon would be good, but replayed recently and don't think it holds up. That's too bad. <laughs> Just because, like, everybody talks about how great it is, right? That's the main reason why I want to go back and play it again. It's like I said, I did play it a bit when I was younger, but I don't have a ton of memory of it. I do remember liking what I played of it. But it was so long ago now that, like, yeah, what memory I had of it is just gone. But pretty much every RPG fan I talk to is just like, it's the greatest game of all time sort of stuff, you know what I mean? Um, See, for me personally, I know it's not going to be the same for everybody, but for me, anything newer than PS1 like PS2 and up, I don't really feel like needs a, a remake. I feel like uh, maybe it's just because I play so many of those games, obviously, uh, <laughs> that I, it, it just, I don't know, they look good enough to me. Unless they're going for like ultra realism or something, then sometimes they can look like ass, but like a lot of my favorite PS2 games, Kingdom Hearts, God of War, Final Fantasy 10, 12, etc. I don't feel like any of those need... Oh, you know what would be cool, though? The rumored Final Fantasy Tactics remake. That would be a really cool one to have. Um, as well as Final Fantasy IX. Another one that's been talked about a good bit, but obviously not done yet. Like an actual remake. Those would both be really cool to have. Such... Oh, wait. Combat design story is ass. World exploration is also ass. Yeah, that kind of ruins it for an RPG, doesn't it? I wish I could remember. There was an RPG game I played. It was on PS2. I rented it from Gamefly back in the day whenever I had a Gamefly subscription. I wish I could remember what it was because I, I got like halfway to three quarters of the way through the game and I really enjoyed the story of it, but the actual gameplay was garbage. <laughs> And I just, like, I want to go back and play it again and see if it was just, like, younger me being impatient with the game or if it was actually just as bad as I remember it being. I I did end up beating the game, but I had a code breaker. It was a cheat device for the PS2, if you've never heard of it. And I used that to give myself, like, god mode, basically, and then just speed ran through the rest of the game eventually. I, I got probably about three quarters or so of the way through the game. I, I remember specifically that I was pretty close to the end because I kind of felt bad once I beat the game. I was like, shit, if I was that close, I kind of wish I wouldn't have cheated to like get to the end and beat it because, you know, I could have just had like a legitimate win under my belt um, without it taking that much longer. Twitch app is being ass. What's new, my guy? Twitch app is always being ass. <laughs> Twitch app is ass. <laughs> again, I again, I love Twitch, man. I really, really do. Obviously, I'm here. I'm not streaming on YouTube or any of that shit. Although I should start dual streaming again or multi streaming, whatever the kids call it. I have it set up to do it. I just never think to. But anyways, point is, um, yeah, it's ass all the time. As soon as we started the stream today, it disconnected like three times in a row. I was trying to talk about that Rygar game, actually. I, I was mentioning the fact that I got a bunch of new PS2 games and that I want to go back to playing PS2 games here soon, at least one day a week. Um, so if anybody wants to look at the list and get some votes in on the new games or whatever, they're more than welcome to. But the only... Other than, like, the obvious stuff, like, you know, Half-Life, um... Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Tenkaichi, the Crash game. Other than like the big name games, the only game that I'm really like wanting to play now is Rygar. Because you mentioned it looking good and I played like the first 10 minutes of it and was like, oh, you know what? That actually, yeah, <laughs> it actually seems pretty decent, surprisingly enough. Um, so yeah, of course people can vote on whatever the hell they want to vote on. That's kind of the point of the voting system, but... That would be my suggestion for a game to vote on if somebody decides to to do that. Uh, but anyways, hello to you as well, OptiJack. <laughs> Got on a bit of a tangent there. Magnificent timing stream. Could I trouble you for some advice? Ask away. I've got a plan, so leave me alone, old lady. <laughs> Bruh. It's nothing complicated, I assure you. I've been considering remodeling this museum, but I'm not quite sure how to go about it. Should I hire an up-and-coming architect who is making waves in the art world? Or should I try to faithfully recreate a traditional mode of architecture? Then again, I could also open up to the public and have the townspeople create their own designs. 
like to hear your opinions on the matter. Leave it up to the townspeople, dude. It's either that or traditional. I don't care about the up and coming architect. <laughs> I, the one thing I don't like about this game, like thematically, is how they're trying to like attract so many people and like update everything to be hip and new and cool or whatever. And it's like, I don't, that's not what I personally care about. Give me my like old ass looking cozy town, you know? So I am tempted to say go traditional, but I think we'll leave it up to the townspeople, man. It's their town. Let them have fun with the museum. I suppose that really is my best option. As a matter of fact, I was thinking along this exact same line, so I've already begun private discussions. Then why'd you even ask? <laughs> the townspeople have given me three suggestions so far. Would you tell me what you prefer? First suggestion is to take inspiration from traditional Eastern castles. This was Dosetsu's idea. Second suggestion came from Cindy and Mikey. They would like to see a superhero secret base. Finally, we come to love its suggestion to create a culinary hall of fame featuring creations from all around the world. Eastern Castle, man. For the museum, Eastern Castle. I mean, a secret base would be cool, but Eastern Castle. <laughs> Apologize for the pause. I had a sudden moment of retrospective clarity. After giving it some thought, I think I will settle for merely repairing the museum to its form of glory. Thank you very much for your help. This whole cutscene was pointless. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. Anyways, I'm here to donate some fish, if you don't mind. Take this, like, two-day-old tilapia and shove it in one of your fish tanks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just burn it down? Yes, I'm, <laughs> I'm game for that one. Holy hell, dude. That's all we had to donate, actually, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll still talk to you people. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the pet derby tomorrow. We'll talk to you too since you're here. Beth. Now let's get our ass in the mine, dude. The children yearn for the mine. I forgot how the game worked for a second. Um, Hammer. And what's the other thing we need? Hoe. Hammer ho. Should we one, put it out, two, let it burn, three, ask the town? Ask the town people, obviously. <laughs> we should have a town hall meeting, see what they all think, and then, you know, anywhere between two to six business days, once we come to a conclusion, then we'll uh, deal with the fire at the museum, or what's left of it at least. Yeah, I kind of forgot to clear this side of the, <laughs> the farm, huh? Oh, well. Fuck this side of the farm. Uh, I didn't think to look and see what we needed before we came down here, so I guess we'll just collect all the silver and iron that we come across. And then, I guess artifacts as well. Even though it's very rare that we actually get any new artifacts. Diggy spot. And a free ladder. I still don't know if going deeper in the mine actually gives us, like, better chances to get stuff. So I don't think I'm going to rush. I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of the... the iron and silver ore nodes that I see before I go down to the next level. Uh, yeah, dude, get the rock, too. I mean, having extra stone is always nice. I'm just not going to go out of my way for it. Yes, wall. Walls are the best, dude. Can't wait for Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say something along the lines of me neither, but actually I work on Tuesday, so like <laughs> I'm not that excited for it. Oh, we're going to get hit. You bastard. Um, <laughs> two days off in a row. That is awesome, though. I go on vacation here soon, which actually I think I forgot to tell you guys, um, but I go on vacation Friday 
So there's going to be a couple of days I won't be streaming that I normally would try to stream at least. Um, specifically, I won't be home, so definitely won't be streaming, what, Sunday night? Monday I usually take off. Tuesday I will be home? But I don't know for sure if I'll be streaming or not because, like, that's the day I come home. So, yeah. So I guess just, like, two streams maybe that we'll be missing. Um, and then since it's vacation time, I might not be home on Wednesday. We'll see. I don't know. As usual with vacation times, it's just we're playing it as we go. Playing it by ear. You're outnumbered? I mean, I'd rather it be Tuesday, right? That's closer to my vacation time. Don't get me wrong. It's just like... <laughs> I'm looking forward to my day off tomorrow <laughs> as well, so... <laughs> I'm not trying to rush to Tuesday, that's all. But I get it, guys. I don't blame you. <laughs> if I had two days in a row coming off, I'd also want it to be Tuesday. Yeah, see? Y'all gonna do that to Noodle? How rude. I mean... Again, Tuesday... Ah, uh, fuck, dude. I'm so tired. <laughs> it being Tuesday, again, does mean that much closer to vacation. My, uh... I only have two more working days until I go on vacation. So it's honestly not all that bad. Because it's like, I work... Tuesday... Thursday, and then I'm on vacation. Like, it's pretty good. <laughs> I also work Tuesday, but that's my fuck around day. What do you mean by fuck around day? Like, <laughs> does, like, your store just do nothing on Tuesdays? <laughs> I'm so, I'm so confused, my guy. I've never heard of a fuck around day, I guess. Eat the egg salad. Om nom. It gave us three extra hearts, but I don't even think it filled three hearts. We're not going to do too much fishing down here, because mine fishing seems kind of pointless. Unless, like, maybe it's rare fish only. Oh, we did get the new fishing rod, though, so who knows? Maybe we'll get, like, something better. An eel? I think we've got an eel before. The other overnight manager takes over the team, so I just set mods all night or do features each shit. Ah, okay. Yeah, I feel it then, dude. Ooh, you're a hard fish. Considering that we have a silver rod, and you... Like, you would think it would get easier the better your rod, right? So, the fact that we have a silver rod and this fish is hard... It's a crayfish. Haven't we fished up a crayfish before? <laughs> I was really hoping for something new, something exciting. Crayfish are cool, but, like, I don't think they're really worth anything. I think there might be some kind of food we can make with a crayfish, though. Specifically, crayfish. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> no more freaking cave fishing for me. Oh, um... Prop Hunter, I would love to, if if everybody has like a day off, I'd love to try and find another day to play either Prop Hunter or there's a couple other games. I haven't tried Witchet yet, but Witchet is apparently another Prop Hunter style game um, that's relatively cheap right now. It's either on sale or I think it's one that's on sale. And then... Um, uh, Midnight Ghost Hunt is the one that's on sale. I think it's on sale on Humble, which I could get, like, a Humble code for if people want to buy it. Or just go to, like, what is it, exclamation mark Humble, I think it is, to get my Humble code. Uh, but anyways, I think there's one on sale there. It's either Witchet or Midnight Ghost Hunt. Point is, they're both only, like, four to six dollars, and they're Prop Hunt style games. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for me, so Wednesday it is. Maybe. I wouldn't be against doing, like, a Wednesday night or something like that, or, like, later Wednesday afternoon or something along those lines. If, assuming I'm not streaming, or we could do it, like, actually Wednesday night, I guess. That's always a thing. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, that sounds pretty good to me. I'll let you guys know, like, for sure, closer to day and date, of course, but... Not this coming Wednesday. But... Next, like... Next week's Wednesday. <laughs> I don't know the dates off the top of my head. I think it's like the 23rd or something like that. Uh, that Wednesday, I am down to play Prop Hunter, uh, Keep Talking, Midnight Ghost Hunt, whatever. And you will have to play Muted this time. Let's go. <laughs> That's always a bonus. So yeah, that'll be cool. Uh, we're gonna leave them on. What time is it? IRL. 2.42? We have time for one more day in game. Oh. Really wish the game would tell us what's been donated to the museum and what hasn't. That is by far my biggest pet peeve with the game. <laughs> Um, put this stuff away. We need to organize a bit. These things will be going to museum. All of this will probably get sold, but we'll stop and see if there's any food to make first. Fruit salad, but throw some crayfish in it. Mm, looking like a no. I thought for sure we needed crayfish for something. This. Oh, I guess we don't have the other stuff, though. We need some sort of pepper condiment and some sort of... Is that an herby condiment? What is that? Mixed herbs. I wonder how we make mixed herbs. You started your no sphere grid and run in 10. Let, <laughs> let us know how that goes, man. <laughs> it's good. I wish you luck. That sounds like a giant pain in the ass. I really want to do some... Whatchamacallit, challenge runs and games myself. I've been watching a bunch of, like, Stardew Valley lately, because, again, been in a cozy game mood. And some of the challenge runs for Stardew Valley looks fun. There's a Tile Man mod. So, like, every tile you have to pay to unlock before you're allowed to walk on it. Um, there's... Uh, like hardcore mode, but with extra rules to make the game extra difficult. That one's kind of fun. The crowd control stream, something like that would be fun too. Load up like some Super Mario Brothers or something like that. That's actually not a terrible idea. I don't know why I never thought of crowd control, like doing it myself. I've watched people play crowd control or do. Ah, uh, we forgot to talk to our cow yesterday. Anyways, <laughs> I've watched people do crowd control stuff before. Um,. But yeah, I never actually considered doing one myself. I'm a dummy. Watering can, please. Oh, this is actually perfect, because that means next time we play, we'll start on the first day of the new season, too. Are you grown yet? No, okay. I don't remember how long they take to grow, but they're starting to look pretty big, so I thought maybe they were done. If we did do crowd control, what would people... Like, what game would people want uh, to control? Oh, shoot, we don't have room for bricks. Uh, I guess the stone paths don't actually need to go in here. It's not a crafting material. It's a building material. So it should probably go in here. Skyrim? Do they have a Skyrim crowd control mod? Because like, I'm down. I'm not against that at all, to be honest. They do. I'm down. We can try. We need to have like some sort of goal that we can do. <laughs> Succubus waifu? Uh, sure. If you make a Succubus waifu mod and make sure everything's censored, I'll stream it on OnlyFans for the low, low price of uh, $20 a month. <laughs> Many thank Betsy. Oh, you gave us two milks too? Let's go, Betsy. Wait, 
Oh, this is the mayonnaise maker. That's why. Butter! My first thing of butter. Uh, should we make two butters? We've, we've never had butter before. Screw it. Make two butters for us. Let me pick that position, dog. <laughs> it's gotta be, like, an actual crowd control mod, though, man. You gotta, like, pay bits or channel points or whatever for the right to pick the positions in Succubus Waifu. You ain't gonna do that shit for free, dude. Did Betsy eat Muriel? I don't... Sometimes it takes a long-ass time for the animals to come out of these damn barns, dude. There's Muriel. Muriel, your milk's getting made straight into yogurt. Is this tree fully grown? It is. Oh, that's a big chopping area, dude. Let's go. Okay, I didn't expect that. Sick. The cows have to have... I read that as the crows have to have old lady names from now on. And I was super confused. I was like, can you get crows in this game? Have I been missing out this whole time? I want to raise a murder of crows, please. We also need to remember today's the pet derby or whatever. So we need to go do that. I don't know what time it starts. I'm assuming it's in the town square slash the beach of the town or whatever. Evelyn next time? I'm gonna forget that. You know I'm gonna forget that. You'll have to be here and remind me <laughs> to name the next one Evelyn. This crap can go in here. Mm. We probably have time to do a little more clearing. Oh, also, one of our ingot machines is done. Do we have more iron? I do. Give you more iron to do. Many thank game. Second, the old lady names are useful names of famous old ladies. <laughs> I don't know that many famous old ladies. But if y'all can help with that, then I'm, again, I'm down, dude. <laughs> like, as long as y'all can keep providing me famous old lady names, then we will name all of the, the cows after famous old ladies. I have nothing against that. Oh, dude, this silver axe is so much better. Makes this shit so quick. Deleted so many pictures? What, like off your phone? Why are you clearing out your phone? Is it because you're getting a new one? You just didn't want to transfer everything over? I guess that kind of makes sense. It's just, I don't know, man. <laughs> over a thousand screenshots? Holy hell, dude. I mean, my meme folder is the only one I have that's, like, ridiculous. I have, like, 4,000, almost 5,000 memes or something like that in my meme folder. Other than that, mine's not all that bad, honestly. Why do we have two egg sandwiches? Oh, one's like shit and one's good. That's why. Uh, clam chowder. Oh, shoot. We can't... Damn it! <laughs> okay. Eat the... Do pancakes count as dessert? Huh? Yes, okay. Eat that. There we go. <laughs> Just gotta pick this shit up one at a time. Alright, well I guess if there's any puddles, we're ignoring the damn puddles. Because I gotta put something away to pick up more stuff. Oh, and you know what? We don't need the, the watering can either. There we go. Our energy's completely refilled. It was really a waste of food though. Because like... What do you mean my bag's full? Are there different quality strawberries? Alright, guess we're not cutting any more grass today either. Oh damn it, there's more strawberries. You deleted most of your memes? Nah, I gotta keep my memes, dude. Memes are life. That's 
That's like the only thing I actually save on my phone. Just memes. Ooh, I want to pick the flowers, but no. I can't because the game hates me. We should have, instead of upgrading... No, I'm really glad we upgraded the axe. I was going to say, instead of upgrading the axe, we probably should have upgraded our backpack, but... You <laughs> only save EVA references. Noise. Alright, get rid of all of this stuff. It can all go away, thank you. We can make some salt. We can make some pepper. Um, we can put away some garbage. Oh wait, no, sage is a... Is a spice, not a flower. Uh, let's go figure out what's going on with this pet derby thing. I guess we have to sell the strawberries. I assume we should take Marie with us. That seems like the right thing to do, considering she's our pet and it's a pet derby. Gotta go. Have a good one, dude. I'll see you in a couple of days. Tomorrow? The day after tomorrow. <laughs> Told you. I'm tired. I don't even know what day it is. So how do we use this again? Walk. There we go. I still don't really understand the leash. Because then after we do the, like, tell it to walk, we can just put the leash away. We're not even holding the leash anymore, and she just follows us around. Also gotta go, have a good night. Take it easy, my guy. Pet Derby, Pet Derby, are you doing the Pet Derby? Good to have you with our stream. Today's our annual Pet Derby. Patricia and Bridget are both ready and raring to go. We'd be thrilled to have you as an entrant too, so let me know what your plans are once you decide. If you're serious about entering, just give me a holler. We're counting on you, lad. Yeah, dude, I'll enter. I have no idea what it means. At the Pet Derby, pets and their owners compete in a race to see which team will reign supreme. Talk to Georg if you'd like to enter. If you don't have a pet, don't worry. Georg will let you enter the race with a rental pet. <laughs> Bruh, I ain't want no rental pet. Pet Derby attendee award? Really? We get an award just for <laughs> attending? Can we... <coughs> Excuse me. I know we can't fish, like, now because it's a event day. But I wonder if we can fish over there by the waterfalls. Do we get bonuses for talking to people? We do. Okay. I wasn't sure if we got like the happiness bonus or whatever for talking on festival days or no. Okay, Marie's gonna get annoyed with us if we keep petting her that much, dude. There is such a thing as too much. <laughs> Bro, why are you over here, like, by yourself, dude, looking all sad? I guess we could have, like, brought snacks or something for somebody. Some noms or some flowers or something. Oh, well, fuck them. Unlike a game like Stardew Valley, I do find that I really don't care what the villagers have to say. <laughs> I think it's because their lines just seem to be, like, random in this game. Whereas something like Stardew Valley, they only have, like, two lines a day, and then they just say the same thing over and over again. So it's, like, easy to tell whenever they're done saying new stuff. Whereas in this one, I kind of struggle to tell. So you it's probably just a me thing. I don't know. But I just find it a lot harder to care about what any of these people are saying than a, than a game like Stardew Valley. Or like the Harvest Moons that I grew up with or whatever. Mineral Town. Mineral Town will always reign supreme in my heart. Just because it was my first Harvest Moon game. And I mean, I do legitimately think it's one of the best ones as well. But like... Even if it wasn't, it was my first, so I'm always gonna, always gonna like it. Would you like to participate? Yes. Well, what are the rules? Turn your pet as they race for first place. While your pet is sparkling, press the button on display to give them a short burst of speed. Okay, sure. Enter pet derby. 
Uh, enter my pet, Marie. Personality lonely? Does that mean you like to be alone or? Oh God, okay. We're just getting like right into it. No practice rounds. Uh, square? X? Did I hit it fast enough? Okay, I guess so. Square? Let's go, dude. X? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let's go, dude. We gonna win this bitch. Wait, how many laps are we doing? <laughs> Square, okay. Oh, we gotta like carry a certain number of things back. Wait, why didn't I get any sparkles? Bruh, did I miss a prompt or got gold pet? I mean, I, we got gold. So we either tied for first and that means we both got gold or we were like a hair ahead. I don't know which, but fuck yeah, dude. Whatever this year's pet derby is, me. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's me. Let's go, dude. Get wrecked, dudes. I've had this thing for a week and uh, it's already the best cat out there. Get wrecked. Marie for the win. 5,000 gold's nice. Like, let's go, dude. That'll help us buy some crops tomorrow. Hopefully it also like gives some extra love with her. Uh, can be placed on a countertop in your house. Okay. So there's no point in selling it. Uh, we'll put it on this countertop here. Maybe. Can we do it from this side? Yeah. There you go. Put our trophy down, dude. You can get wrecked, people. I has the best cat. Not you. Need to keep these machines going as much as possible. Deposit everything, and then take out everything. Take out grass, and both logs, and ores, and clay, and I think that's everything. What does the glass rock? Can we smelt the glass rock? I guess we can't right now, because we already have stuff going. Maybe we should, what do we have more of, silver or iron? We have a lot more iron, so maybe once the iron's done, we should try doing some glass and seeing if that's how that works. Wait, that's regular lumber. This is solid, okay. Craft the regular. Um, wait, did I forget to pick up the other grass? I did. Make some regular grass. And then we have we have wheat. It's the only thing we have that needs shredded. I guess so. Noodle, thank you for the five bits. Appreciate you. And I guess that's everything. And we don't have any rice or anything yet to make condiments out of. Okay. Put all this stuff away. Mm -hmm. And then... I guess the wheat. Go in here. Uh, I was gonna say, oh shoot, we didn't go to the museum, but I guess like we can't really go to the museum today. Because of the whole festival thing. We do have a couple of hours left in game though, so let's... Just do some fishing, dude. I'm just gonna fish off our pier here, see if we get anything new or if it's just the crabs and crap that we normally get. The crappy stuff. I wonder, is our fishing rod good enough to just like hold the button down and catch things now? We've definitely caught that before. That's nothing new. Skilled fisher. I wonder what that unlocks for us. A herring? Is is that new? Uh, I don't freaking know, dude. Shrimp bait. Hmm. 
don't care. The bait just seems kind of worthless to me, man. You spend so much money on making the bait, and most of the fish you catch just aren't worth anything. It's like, I don't know. Another herring. I really wish I knew if we had donated one before or not. So come year like two or three, if we decide to go to completion with this game, we're gonna have to just make a checklist for all this stuff. That's the only way we're actually gonna be able to complete it in any reasonable way, man. So I don't know if we're gonna go to 100% completion or just do a couple of years of the game, whatever the quote unquote end game is. I do know for sure one of these days I want to do 100% completion on Stardew Valley. Because, let's be honest, it's the best farming game out there. Like, cozy life sim farming game out there, you know? There's a lot of good ones, but that one just... Mm, top. And I have like 100 hours in the game. More than 100 hours in the game, I'm pretty sure. And I've never done full completion on it so like <laughs> i haven't even done like the dlc content for the past handful of pat patches we're not gonna catch this fish bro wow okay i guess we still need to be kind of careful i wonder what it was now though that's gonna bug the hell out of me I saw it was like a one exclamation mark, so I didn't even think anything of it. I was like, oh, that'll be fine. We can just hold it down. And then all of a sudden it was like, no, <laughs> no, you cannot just hold it down. Can we feed fish to our pet? No, that's too bad. Marie looks like she would like some whiskered velvet shrimp. All right, there's a little bit more money for tomorrow. That's something. All of this stuff can go in the fridge. Put away the fishing rod. Go to bed. We'll make a hard save too, actually, real quick. I did not mean to sit. Excuse me, sorry. Write in journal. Uh, no, save over this one. There we go. Hard save, we'll get an auto save from sleeping. But that's it for me tonight, guys. Thank you for coming and hanging out. I'm glad that I was able to stay awake and <laughs> didn't fall asleep midstream. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of days with, what is today? Today's Sunday, so it'll be Tuesday. With either PS2 game or more Pioneers all the time. Like I said, I do want to get back into playing some PS2 stuff at least one day a week. So one or the other. You just have to stop in Tuesday to see which one it is. Until then, though, guys, have a wonderful night. Thanks again for coming out. And as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye! Sorry, I always have to look outside and see, like, what's changed whenever I get to a new day of one of these games. It looks like nothing besides the fact that the trees aren't growing fruit anymore. All right, <laughs> have a good night. Bye-bye. per usual i am dead tired and don't remember what the hell we did last week not last